So a lot of the time with my videos, I kind of like to give you guys as much content as I can in that short space of time. But in this case, when I come up with ideas, a lot of the time you don't really know whether they're gonna go right or they're gonna go wrong. And a lot of the time they do go wrong, which is the gamble that you take with photography. You could come up with an amazing idea and it doesn't, you can't execute it and it's hard to do, which I've come across a lot of times. But in this case, I intended to put two of my ideas into one video and they turned out better than I thought. So what you're watching right now is gonna be part one to a video titled Autumn Photography, where we went super creative with the autumn colors as it's getting into December now, Christmas time, the trees are gonna start looking completely bare. So we took full advantage of the autumn colors and we got super creative with it. So I hope you guys enjoy. We are about one o'clock in and it is a cold, cold day. And we thought we'd take advantage of this colory autumn that we've got right now. I've not really shot autumn colors yet. I've not gone to, to a forest and shot apart from the other day. And we thought we we're gonna try something out. I saw a photo the other day on Pinterest of a guy holding an umbrella and smoke was coming out of the umbrella and it looked sick. So I thought, why don't we do it with leaves, like autumn leaves. We go to like a really, really clean road and make it look like it's raining leaves, but only on me. So we give that sort of illusion Photoshop effect. Um, which is what we're going to do today. Also, wanted to try something with playing cards. Oh, we need to get sellotape. I need to go back inside. Okay. One second. I have the tape. We'll explain more when we get there, what we're doing with the sellotape. <laughs> All right, so we are here. We always come here to start our vlogs. <laughs> we always come here. It's literally like the most convenient place to buy props and stuff that we need. So we're gonna go in here, get some metal wire and some playing cards. I don't think we're gonna get playing cards in here. What is that? Perfect, mate. Absolutely perfect. Do you remember that rhyme from Drake and Josh? I saw Mercury I saw and it. Venus. It's all in love. The Mars, so Jupiter. Okay, so we have to go to like a game shop maybe to get these playing cards because those were just, yeah. Sainsbury's up there. They've got a game section. To Sainsbury's, to Sainsbury's, to Sainsbury's. Mill, do, 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 do, Two playing cards. Success, have our cards, we have our string and our sellotape. So now we've got two hours until it gets dark and we can hopefully go to the forest. Okay, so we have arrived at the location. We actually came here the other day at like eight in the morning and the place was like absolutely covered in fog. And we've got some like really cool, kind of like foggy, misty shots. I'll put them on the screen. Um, they came out quite good, to be honest, but we got here as the fog was leaving. Hopefully we can come back again, maybe in a few days if it's like that and it will look like super misty some absolute twilight vibe. Okay, so while Ollie's putting the leads in the umbrella, I'm gonna change lenses. I'm gonna set up a tripod so you guys can see some behind the scenes, maybe from the side or behind a bush. Um, so you get like a first person view. And also Ollie's gonna put the GoPro on. You need to literally swing it. Yeah. And then. There you go. Quite sick. Solid idea. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're good to go. The GoPro is ready, and let's get it. Go. All right, let's go refill. Go, go, go. Okay, so right now we've got a few like of me standing in front, and now I'm going to try some like from looking behind me. <laughs> I'm a GoPro. Like a spy. Go. It's crispy as shit though. It's very crispy. I want it too fast backwards. Yeah, look, you can see they all just went out behind you. Okay. All right, let's refill. Let's go again. Refill. All right, now we've just got to wait for uh, some more uh, cars to go. Oh, it's just Instagrammers. Instagram. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see some stuff? Okay, so we've attempted this a few times now, but we're trying to get like the shot um, because a lot of the leads that we do get are like bunched together so that when I've put it on me, they don't like drop out individually. They come out as like a clunk. So um, basically we need to get like really, really dry leaves so that they basically don't stick together. Calm. Woo! All right, I think we got it. We'll do one more for safety. That one, do you think that one? That one's pain. We got some sick photos. Oh, there's so many leaves. Bro, in my head. In Success. You are. Smirked it. Let's go back for the whip. So when we took the photos originally, I thought it was going to be a one bang. Like we were going to go there, take the shot, be done within like an hour. And it turns out that didn't happen. Um, we were pushing for time. We were struggling trying to get that final, final shot. It happened in the end. But again, it's one of those things where like there were cars coming and it was very stressful, but we did get the photo. So what I did intend to do was after we took these photos was to go out to another location and shoot with the, the playing cards. But instead we, we literally lost time. We had no light left and we thought, okay, we might as well make the most of it get as many shots as we can for this certain like creative shoot and then tomorrow we'll go to London and do some cool stuff with the playing cards. So initially that is why I intended to make two videos but it turns out that this photo came out amazing. Um, basically we shot this on a 50mm 1.4 on Ollie's Canon EOS R, incredible, incredible camera. It was great because I was able to vlog and he was able to shoot so that we had basically two cameras where a lot of the time we only had my camera. The cool thing about this idea is that it was super, super simple. Like I saw this picture on Pinterest of the guy holding the umbrella and the smoke, a smoke bomb coming out, or I don't know if it was a smoke bomb, but it was smoke coming out of the umbrella. So when it came down to actually editing these photos, I really didn't have to do a lot to it. Like I turned down the highlights a little bit, boosted the exposure, turned down the shadows, kind of crushed the blacks. I made those blues a little bit stronger than I should have done, but again, I think it looked quite cool. But apart from that, really, really cool photo, and I was very, very happy with that end result. So the other day, I did a Q&A on Instagram, and you guys asked me tons of questions related to like film and photography and things like that, and I didn't get the chance to answer all of them. So I think in the beginning of maybe every video or at the end of every video I make, I'm gonna answer a question. Um, so someone asked me here, tips for generating clients as a freelancer. So whether that be in freelance photography, or filmmaking the best thing that I'd say you do is just put yourself out there like whether it be physically online or you just go into shops which is what I do a lot go into like a car dealership or going to like a hairdresser anywhere around you and just kind of ask them if they want photography because you never know who you can meet like even someone like your mum and dad might know someone who kind of needs photos of I don't know their business or whatever and you charge them a price which you think is fair for you um, because obviously depending on how much equipment you have and how much much, you know effort you're gonna put into it that all depends on the price that you charge them but for simple photography it's really really easy to put yourself out there so I hope that answered your question so that pretty much wraps it up I hope you guys did enjoy it again super super simple photography idea that you guys can try out for yourself um, if this did help you or did kind of give you some cool ideas don't forget to leave a like rate and subscribe if you are new um, and don't forget to check out the second video that I have coming out probably the day after this um, with this magic cards trick illusion effect it's crazy so that is that hope you guys did enjoy it take care peace